Okay. Uh, good boo to you all. Welcome to <laughs> game week four. Very scary. <laughs> Just much too lazy to put in more effort. Anyway. So, um, <laughs> no, no, it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, yes. Can you confirm that you can see the Chrome window and no other window? Yeah. That's just Chrome window. Okay, cool. So welcome to game 212 from game week four. We shall... Hmm. Okay, so uh, Ramesh in seat one, Jing in seat two, Aditya in seat three, and Emmy in seat four. All the best folks. Oh, thanks. Okay, uh, Ramesh, your first question. This nighttime photo was taken by the Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield from the ISS. The difference in the color of the lights on the left and right sides of the picture is attributed to mercury arc lamps and sodium vapor lamps, respectively. Which city is this, which is still unable to harmonize its street lamps? 33 after uh, 33 years after a particular event. Uh, Beijing. Not Beijing. Jing? Berlin. Berlin is the right answer. Nice. Nice. Ramesh, our next question. Among the stars of Berlin's hip nightlife, nightlife scene is a no-holds-barred club known for its fetish and sexual themes started by a porn photographer. What apt name is this known by? Inspired from a frivolous nightclub that is central to the plot of an award-winning musical set in the Berlin Jazz Age. These names are in turn derived from an 18th century London liberal society. Need an answer? I have to pass you. Uh, pass. Um, pass. Passing to Emmy. You need the name of the club, no? Not the yes. music. Pass. Jing? Pass. Okay, this, this is known as the Kit Kat Club. Kit Kat. Oh, yeah, I thought of the musical. I don't know the club. <clears throat> okay, Ramesh, your third question. Typically used as an emergency oral anti-poison remedy, this item is also a mainstay in the black food trend, being used in everything from soft serve ice creams to bottled water. The lightweight carbon residue it is obtained from is treated with oxygen at very high temperatures to make it more porous, as though it has been blanked for greater absorption. What item? And the blank is part of the answer. Charcoal. Uh, prompt. Uh, coal. Uh, sorry, Aditya? Is it smoke? Not smoke. Emmy? Suit. Not suit. Jing? Uh, pass. Char. No, so this actually should spell adsorption. And basically the charcoal is activated to be able to hold more on its surface. Uh. <clears throat> okay, moving to Jing's direct now. Your first mm -hmm. question. Prior to the 6th century AD, Candlemas, that was on 2nd Feb, 
was traditionally considered the end of the Christmas season. But which day, or rather night, now defines the official end of the period known as Christmas tide? This is essentially the eve of the epiphany, beyond which it is considered unlucky to leave decorations hanging. We're looking for the descriptive phrase and not an exact date. The twelfth day of Christmas. Nicely done. Oh, you can ask your two love also for this answer. So well done there. Twelfth night it is, but oh. I'll give that to you. Oh. Your next question. Global dimming is a phenomenon observed since the 1950s that sees reduced amounts of solar radiance reaching the Earth due to climate change. While there has been an improvement recently, which 1991 geological event in Asia? is said to have majorly contributed to global dimming, creating an artificial night for the terrified people in the vicinity of the event. Seconds. <clears throat> Not sure. Uh, Tokyo earthquake. Sorry, is that your answer? Yeah. That's not it. Ramesh? <laughs> Pass. Aditya? Pass. Emmy? Pass. Okay. This is the eruption of Mount Pinatubo. Oh. Okay. Third question to Jing. Nocturne painting is a term coined by which American artist to describe a style evocative of the night. He used this musical term in naming the work shown here, Nocturne in black and gold, just as he used the musical term arrangement in the title of one of his more famous works. He sued his critic John Ruskin for defaming the work and did win, but this ended up damaging his reputation in the process. Whistler. Nicely done. This is James McCabot McNeil Lewis Law, who I only know from the Bean movie, but anyway. Moving to Aditya's questions. While some novels are set over just one day, even fewer are set over one night. Which Chuck Palahniuk novel with a one-word title, not to be confused with the Terry Pratchett novel of the same name, is set on a night when legendary porn star Cassie Wright attempts to break the world record for serial fornication on camera. Typical of a Palinuk novel, while the premise is shocking, the novel eventually turns into an interesting meditation on the adult industry and mother-child relationship. One word title, okay. Yeah. Uh, Um, uh, nightfall. Not nightfall, but good guess. Ramesh? Pass. Emmy? Pass. Jing? Pass. Pass. And this is uh, what you might call another, say, dirty film. It's a snuff. Mm. Uh, Aditya, your next question. Okay. This influential 1968 George Romero film is credited with giving birth to the zombie apocalypse. Before it, zombies were usually depicted as creatures of voodoo who obeyed their masters. Romero chose to not give an explanation for their existence at all, save that they were reanimated corpses with an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Which movie is this? Um... more seconds um bus i don't know okay ramesh 
I'll have to pass you. Awesome. Have a great one. Sir. Sorry, Amy. Uh, pass, pass. Jing? Pass. I have a guess. Uh, the living Go dead, on. something something which goes uh, uh, night of the living dead. That is the right answer. I see that. Oh, should have gone for that. I was looking at the, the, the blurred area. It didn't look like such a long title. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're used to gigantic fonts now, I think so. <laughs> okay. Moving to Aditya's third question. Adult Swim is an American adult-oriented nighttime cable TV channel that runs from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the night only. However, this is not a standalone channel, but a nighttime variant of another channel whose usual customers are usually sleeping at that time. What channel would you need to be on at 8 p.m. if you wish to switch to Adult Swim? Is this Cartoon Network? This is Cartoon Network. Wow. Nicely done. <laughs> Okay, Amy, your, your three questions. The first international football game played under floodlights was in 1955 when the home team of England defeated the visiting Spain team 4-1 in a friendly. In which iconic stadium, more recognizable for its arch, did this happen? Pass. Okay, Ramesh. Uh, Old Trafford. Not Old Trafford. Hmm. Jing. Pass. Aditya. Is it Wembley? This is Wembley. Yeah. Nicely done. Emmy, your next question. Tom Hanks in a 1993 movie based in Seattle. Edward Norton as the narrator in a 1999 film. Al Pacino's character in a 2002 film set in Alaska. All suffer from what condition? resulting in important elements of each of the film's plot. ASD. Sorry? Autism. autism. Not autism. Ramesh? I need an answer. Pass. Pass. Pass to Jing. Insomnia. Nicely done. Insomnia. Yeah. Ah, yeah. wonder it. Okay. Yes. So the writers actually are not like they're obeying the first rule of whatever this is by not naming it. So well done. Uh, next question to Emmy. Owl wings have a comb of bristles along their leading edge and a fringe on the trailing edge. That helps break up air turbulence. These give the nocturnal owl an advantage as it approaches its prey, effectively acting as blank, nine letters in plural. UK scientists have tried to replicate the concept in airplane wing technology as well. Fill in the blank. Uh, all cars have this feature too, but they operate in a different way. Uh, 10 more seconds. Sun shield. So. Not a sun shade. Ramesh? Uh, silencers. Nicely done. Silencers mm -hmm. is the right answer. Which cars also have. Unless you right. want to be angsty in, uh, in Bangalore. <laughs> uh, okay, moving to round two. <laughs> Ramesh, your first question. Canonical Gospels like Mark and Luke have described this artificial night in similar ways. Mark from 1533 says, It was now about the sixth hour and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. Which event, generally dated to 33 CE, lends its name to this artificial night known as blank darkness. 11 or 13 letters. Can I describe it or you need the 11 or the 13? Uh, describe it for me. It, um, 
this is the resurrection day. Uh, Sorry, can't give that to you. Night of the, night of the dead. When Jesus was dead, there was this whole thing like uh, where night. Before. No, I need you to be more specific. Um, I will have to yeah. move to Jing. I'll pass. Aditya? Um, who is it? Uh, pass, pass. Never mind. I don't want to guess. Ramesh, your guess was three days later. This is the uh, crucifixion darkness. Oh, uh, mm. crucifixion. Okay. No. I said when Jesus was dead, it happened. No, so like, no. Sorry, I needed a more specific answer, which I right. right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ramesh, your next question. This 1955 thriller, based on a novel by Davis Grubb, features a serial killer who poses as a preacher to seduce and rob an unsuspecting widow. It received poor reviews upon release, but later analysis has been a lot more positive often being cited by publications as among the greatest films ever made. Which film, which remains the only feature film directed by Charles Lawton? One more seconds. Um, the uh, priest of uh, um, uh, California. Sorry. No? Jing? Pass. Aditya? Pass. Emmy? Pass. So this is the night of the hunter. Mm, okay. Cool. Okay. Ramesh, your last question from this round. Creatures like leopards, eye eyes, night jars, etc. have a layer of tissue called the tapetum lucidum, which bends light back. Depending on the creature, angle of reflection and amount of light, the color may vary. This reflective membrane in a certain part of their body gives these creatures, creatures a specific advantage as well as a visible feature. Name either the advantage or the feature. <laughs> Um, night vision because their eyes glow. Uh, yeah. Nicely done. Night vision mm. because of and glowing eyes from the reflection. Well eyes. done. Mm. Ring your first question from round two. Because of the presence of Chandigarh Airport nearby, which cricket stadium, officially named for IS Bindra, has 16 short floodlight pillars instead of the standard configuration of four tall ones? Pass. Aditya? Because of the... Um, Mohali? Nice to done. This is the Mohali Stadium. Mm. Jing, your next question. The Lambda CDM model, also known as the standard model of Big Bang cosmology, is one which accounts for the four most important facts about the universe. Cosmic microwave background, the abundance of hydrogen, helium, and lithium, the large-scale structure of distribution of the galaxies, and the accelerating expansion of the universe. If lambda is the cosmological constant and the C stands for cold, what does DM stand for? Ten more seconds. Uh, pass. Pass to Emmy. Distribution model. Uh, no. Ramesh? Uh, dark matter. Nicely done. Uh, dark matter nice. is the right answer. It's having 80% of the known universe, I guess. Mm. Anyway. Uh, your next question, Jing. Uh, Emmy, if you could keep your hands on the screen, please. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the Atlantic seaboard of the US is one of the most recognizable features on Earth. 
to be spotted by a NASA astronaut from the ISS. The high density of light spots extend from Philadelphia in the bottom left till Hartford in the top right, passing through New York City. One can also clearly see the outline of which highway, which is the main road artery of the eastern seaboard. It is the longest north-south highway in the US, running from Florida to Maine. I-95. Nicely done. I-95 or Interstate Highway 95. Moving to Aditya's questions now. A common tradition observed during the 12th night is the consumption of what cake, often with a figurine representing the baby Jesus hidden inside. It gets its name from a term used for the collective of Melchior, Balthazar and Gaspard, who came to Jesus to offer him gifts. As an additional clue, the year 1066 was the year of the blank blank in England. The same term we're looking for here. Is it a rosary cake? Good guess, but no. Jing? Hastings battle. Sorry? Hastings battle. Uh, no. Emmy? <laughs> Wiseman. Prompt? Three Wiseman. I don't know. Yeah, that's all I do. Prompt again. But I'll have to pass you. Okay. Ramesh? No idea. I had yes. I have, I have all the references, but they can't connect. Sorry. Pass. Uh, Emmy, you are the closest. It's, it's three kings. Three kings. Yeah, three wines. Oh, you're giving it to Magi cake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Um, uh, Aditya's questions now. Okay. I think uh, reportedly inspired by the Jalabia worn in the Arab region, what form of sleepwear commonly worn by urban Indian women gets its six or seven lettered common name simply because of when it is worn? Oh. Um, is it like a maxi coat? Not a maxi coat. Emmy? Nighty. Nicely done. Mm. Nighty is nice. the answer. Your next question. <clears throat> In a 1957 film, Isuzu Yamada uh, uses the Fukai mask as a reference for her eerie blank stare in a scene. This is the film adaptation's interpretation of which scene in the original Shakespeare play featuring the corresponding character. Many call it the out damned spot scene. We need the one word that describes the character's actions in the play's scene. Scene. Okay. Can you keep going with it? Um I don't question. Not a question. Okay. Ramesh. Um I need an answer. Pass. Passing you to Jing. Jing? Pass. Emmy? Pass. From the Merchant of Venice, this is the. This is not the Merchant of Venice. This is Lady Macbeth sleepwalking. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, Emmy's questions. The story of how this entertainment form got its name is a long one. It begins with the English film shown in the poster, the French version of which had a slightly different name. A historic nightclub in Paris later took its name from the French version of the film. And that is where this style of entertainment was born. Even giving its name to a style of boots worn by the performer. What are we talking about? Burlesque. Good girl, but no. Ramesh? 
Answer, please. Cabaret. Not cabaret. Sorry, I was rushing. Mm. Jing? Us. Aditya? Is this mime or miming? This is not miming. This is uh, go go dancing. Yeah, Whiskey a go go was the. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's the club where it got it from. Emmy, your next question. Native to Southern Europe, these highly expensive fungi are hunted using pigs and dogs and sell at whopping prices of 2,000 to 4,000 euros per kilo. Also known as tuber melanosporum, what is their common name? With the first part of the two word answer referring to its dark shade. The lighter shade, however, is the more expensive one. Black mushroom. Sorry? Black mushroom. From? No, I can't give that to you. Sorry. Jing? Black truffle. Black truffle it is. Nicely done. You should have guessed the earlier one. Okay, Emmy, your last question from this round. In order to protect their houses from evil spirits and receive blessings from the God, what common activity do practicing Christians undertake on the 12th night? over the doors or lintels of their house. While a wreath is hung during Christmas season, this particular activity is more associated with the 12th night exclusive. Um, like, uh, they like spread wine on the door also. Mm, yeah. No, they do not spread wine on the door. Ramesh? Pass. Jing? Pass. Aditya? What common activity? I'll need an answer. Pass, pass. You paint it. Uh, paint sort it. of. This is called chalking the door, where they write over the door mm. with Talk. Okay, moving to round three. <clears throat> Obishokto Naiti is a cult 2014 Bengali horror comedy movie about a naiti that grants seductive powers to its wearer, but at a terrible cost. What does the first word in the title of the movie derived from Sanskrit literally mean? Ten more seconds. Uh, um, words. Um, um, uh, harsh not, words. Not harsh words. Jing? Harsh. Aditya? Um, is it auspicious or something? Not auspicious. Harsh. Harsh. Probably the opposite of that. This is cursed. Cursed, okay. And hence, terrible cost, I guess. Okay. Uh, Ramesh, your next question. <clears throat> After Dark is a novel about a college student who is out all night in Tokyo and runs into some interesting people, including a Chinese-speaking prostitute, the owner of a love motel, a shady businessman, and more. Who penned this work in 2007, who also wrote 1Q84, a book set over a single year? Murakami. Hmm. Aruki. Aruki Murakami it is your last direct in the MCU series Moon Knight the titular character is an avatar and derives his power from which ancient Egyptian god this god is shown to help Moon Knight by manipulating the night sky to show what stars looked like 2000 years ago Ra. Not Ra. Jing? Pass. Emmy? Pass. Um, Aditya? 
is it uh, set not set uh, i think set is god of anger or war uh, this is konshu the god of the moon mm -hmm. okay uh, now to jing's direct adult swim has produced many iconic shows for its nighttime blocks none of them more popular than a 2016 show that achieved wider audience through netflix and was originally conceived as a parody of the back to the future series what is this show created by justin roiland who also voiced both of the eponymous characters I guess Beavis and the Butthead. Not Beavis and Butthead. Emmy? Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is um, the right answer. You know? Beavis and Butthead was on MTV, I think. Much earlier. Too. Yeah. Okay, uh, your next question, Jing. <clears throat> this 1964 film, based on a 1961 Tennessee Williams play, Tells the story of a disgraced minister turned Mexican tour bus driver who is blackmailed by a passenger. The title Reptile's Role in the story is purely symbolic. It is captured by some of the characters early on and tied to a veranda to be fattened for eating, but is later unexpectedly released, reflecting the story arc of the protagonist as well. What is the title of the film? Night of the Iguana. Nicely oh. done. Night of the Iguana it is. Next question. Take a look at DJ Mag's top 100 nightclubs list in the world and you'll see that space, known for its famous aircraft landing, sounds in the balcony, was number one for many years before it shut down in 2016. Now, the top spot belongs to High, which was remade on the same spot as Space. In the fourth spot is another nightclub owned by the same company called Ushu. Uh, I don't know even what's this. But where will you find all of these clubs? This still from a 1999 music video by Venga Voice might help you out. Yeah, what are you looking for? What's the question? Bro? I need to know where you will find all of these clubs. Space, I and... Another club by Ushaya. Ten more seconds. Antarctica. Not Antarctica. Ramesh? Uh, New York. Uh, this is Copacabana. Not New York. Emmy? Pass. Pass. Aditya? I have one of two answers. I'm going to go with Ibiza. Glad that you did. Okay. I mm -hmm. is the right answer. Tell you another millennial, I think, the room. <laughs> yeah. Very, very millennial, yes. <laughs> okay. Now moving to your directs. The ninth in the series of ten was a command from God to Moses to hold his hand to the sky and cause an artificial night to, to descend upon a certain land for three days, <coughs> depriving its people of daylight so as to secure emancipation for his people, the Israelites. What was this series of 10 from the book of Exodus? Ten more seconds. I'll need an answer. Oh, this is me. Um, is it an eclipse? Not an eclipse. Jing? Ten, Sorry, ten commandments. Not the commandments. Emmy? Curses. Not, uh, <laughs> not curses. Ramesh? And the plagues. Nicely done. These are the ten plagues of Egypt. Mm. Aditya, next question. Several alternate theories have been proposed to explain the observed phenomena currently attributed to dark matter. One of these is MOND, proposed by Israeli physicist 
Mordehai Milgram in 1983. Mond is a modification of the law of universal gravitation to account for observed properties of galaxies. If the MO in Mond stands for modified, what does the ND stand for? Of universal gravitation. Is it Newtonian dynamics? Wow. Nicely done. Oh, nice. Newtonian dynamics, it is. Mm. Your next question. <clears throat> One of the earliest European artists to paint nocturnes regularly was Rembrandt van Rijn, renowned for his use of light and shade. His painting, Militia Company of District 2, under the command of Captain Franz van Eyck depicts the company moving out, led by the captain who commissioned it. What is this painting commonly known as? Uh, this... Uh, I don't know. Pass. Passing to Jing. The Night Watch. Nicely done. This is the Night Watch. Moving to Emmy's directs. It looks exactly like a nightie and is the standard dress for women in Hawaii, being their second largest sartorial export from after Aloha shirts. Identify this dress that is the preferred formal dress for women in Hawaii. Pass. Passing to Ramesh. Pass. Jing. Pass. Aditya. Uh, pass. Pass. This is called a moo moo. Oh, yeah, heard of that. Emmy, your next question. Home Movies, an animated sitcom that launched as a nighttime show on Adult Swim, launched the careers of creators Brendan Small and Lauren Bouchard. While Small created another show for the channel called Metalocalypse, what show did Lauren create that features the adventures of the Belcher family who run a titular establishment on Ocean Avenue in an unnamed locality informally known as Seymour's Bay? Pass, pass. Passing to Ramesh. Um, Bob's Burgers. Nicely done. Nice. Bob's Burgers is the right answer. And if so, I feel like, yeah, I just need to get home. Mm. If any of you like brutal heavy metal, then y'all should also give this show a watch. It's uh, quite gory and fun. Okay, I mean, next question. One class of particles that is considered a candidate for dark matter is that of blanks, a four-letter acronym. These large hypothetical particles are thought to interact very weakly with ordinary matter and radiation, neither emitting <clears throat> nor absorbing light. But when they meet each other, then they annihilate and produce gamma rays. What is the abbreviation which might remind you of a series of children's books by Jeff Kinney? You're also welcome to attempt the full form for bonus schools. It's boson. Not bosons. Uh, Jing? Pass. Ramesh? Uh, Wimps. Nicely done. Nice. Weekly you want interacting. Uh, oh. Like yes, weekly interacting massive particles. Massive particles, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. Right on there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. three rounds in. Uh, Jing is leading with eight points. Ramesh close behind with five. Aditya with seven. Uh, Aditya with five and Emmy with two. Ramesh, here's your first. In order to bless the trees to produce good crop in the forthcoming season, what activity is undertaken at cider orchards in southern England on the 12th night? Devotees go with the titular bowl to the orchard 
sing songs and even lay out bread to the tree a non orchard version of this activity also existed across england that later evolved into caroling <coughs> they go around the trees that is not what i would want uh, ramesh sorry oh, oh no it's me uh, pass emi pass aditya pass pass yeah, this is uh, wasailing okay mm -hmm. yes Uh, just just give me one more second it is one of my the dog huh. yeah go on okay next direct which sport became the first to be played under flood lights when in 1878 the ranella club of london hosted another london club the hurlingham club for a game that lasted eight chuckers polo Nicely done. Polo is the right answer. Your next direct. A Rambo is a star cluster consisting of dark matter, brown dwarfs, and white dwarfs. Scientists added the letters R A for a robust association at the beginning, only to create a useful mnemonic. What does the B stand for? It gets its name from the Greek word for heavy, because most elementary particles known then were lighter. Behemoth. Good guess, but no. Jing. Baryon. Nicely done. Baryon is the right answer. And robust association of massive baryonic objects. Okay. Moving to your direct, Jing. Ninety mele blank is a phrase seen in many Kannada memes, referring to how the addition of a certain accessory thrown over the upper body converts the ninety from nightwear to acceptable formal wear. Which accessory is this? Whose name literally means double cloth? Ten more seconds. Hmm. Um. A belt, not a belt. Emmy, um, shawl, not a shawl. Aditya, is it dupatta? This <laughs> is dupatta. Nice idea. <laughs> I mean, you got the Bangalore advantage there, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jing, your next question. Night of Knives by Ian Esselmont is set on the night of the shadow moon. when an ancient prophecy is believed to come true it is set in which fantasy universe originally conceived by steven erickson starting with his novel gardens of the moon Which fantasy you know? Mm. Ten more seconds. Um, Narnia. Not Narnia. Emmy. Pass. Aditya. Uh, Warcraft. Not Warcraft. Ramesh. Pass. Okay, so this is uh, Malazan in Books of the Fallen. No idea. What the series no is called. Okay. Okay. Your next question, Jing. Another popular ingredient in the black food trend. This substance is most commonly obtained from creatures under the cephalopod class. It has been used to add a blackish color and a unique flavor to food, and is also a commercially important source of melanin. So it definitely belongs in the kitchen and not at your writing desk among stationery. What ingredient? Uh, squid ink. Nicely done. This is squid ink. Okay, Aditya's questions now. While most animals are either diurnal or nocturnal, <clears throat> some have adapted to be most active at the end of the day, 
when temperatures are lower, but there is enough light to seek out food. Bobcats, possums, some rabbits, and even some owl species are examples. What word from the Latin for twilight is used to describe such creatures? I don't know, pass. Emmy? <clears throat> no clue, pass. Jing? Pass. Ramesh? Uh, crepuscular. Nicely done there. Nice. Crepuscular animals, yeah. Aditya, <laughs> next question. This coloring ingredient is obtained from burning the husk of a tropical fruit. After extracting the oil and water that it is more commonly used for. Originally used in Southeast Asia to make black ice cream, the black food trend has seen its usage spreading into cocktails, juices and pizza. What ingredient or more simply which fruit? Is it a coconut? This is a coconut yeah. and the burnt husk gives you coconut ash. Nicely done. Gotcha. The next question. The Hacienda was a historic nightclub that became popular during the Manchester years of the 1970s and the 1980s, launching the careers of bands such as Oasis and Chemical Brothers. The club was financed by the proceeds from the 1983 hit Blue Monday by which English band that was the reincarnated avatar after the passing of a lead member of its previous incarnation. English band, okay. More seconds. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Not Led Zeppelin. Tommy. Jing. Um, Black Sabbath. Not Black Sabbath. Ramesh. Uh, this is a new order. Nicely done. Nice. New order, which was previously Joy Division. Joy Division. Steal there. Moving to Emmy's questions. This Ein Kreis, a circle, a nocturne painting by which Russian pioneer of abstract art, showing an enlarged moon over the miniature city below, it is emblematic of his style while lecturing at the Bauhaus Art School. His affection for circles is well known with works like Circle in a Circle and Several Circles. Pass. Passing to Jing. Kandinsky. <clears throat> Nicely done. This is Vasily Kandinsky. Can you give me two minutes, please? Yeah. that. Emmy, your next question. Archaeologist Hugo Winkler was the first to associate which term for God with an ancient Arabian deity called Hubal, whom he called a lunar deity. The association came about simply because a statue of Hubal was present at a highly significant location, now considered the house of God by the followers of this religion. This theory has been refuted by several scholars and is even considered an insult to the followers. Seconds. Uh, pass. Jing. Pass. Aditya. Uh, Kaaba. Mm, can't give that to you, Ramesh. Pass. 
So you got the religion right, but what is the term used for Allah or Khuda? Maybe Allah is the Allah. I mean, it said house of God somewhere in there. So I thought, okay, it might be Kaaba. I don't know where I read that. Yeah, yeah location. Yeah, okay. That was also my okay. input. We shall bond in now. Well, yeah, <laughs> next I guess. Question. This 2016 American crime drama series stars Riz Ahmed as a college student named Naz who is accused of murder and John Torturo as his lawyer. Much of the plot revolves around Naz's alibi or lack thereof for the crime. So what is the title of this series? And your answer might leave this squad feeling a bit incomplete. <laughs> How to get away with murder. No. Jing? The night of... Okay. Yeah. Nicely done. The night of. Yeah, I haven't watched it that. So watched it's a kind of a stranger title. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we're in the last round now. Ramesh, you're first of the three. Watch this excerpt from a 2001 film. Real life sufferers have criticized it for misrepresenting the condition for comic gain. What condition is he shown to be suffering from? From the Greek word for attack of stupor or sleep. These are nice. <laughs> Is this audible to you all? Yep. <laughs> what is he doing? I think he's sleeping. S sleeping? Well, he must be. It's a rare sleeping disorder. Uh, what is it that you're looking for? I need to know the uh, the name of the condition that was being depicted by sleep. Is walking is good enough, or you need something more specific than that? Mm, no, no, it, it is not sleepwalking. So Tom, Tom not Tom even... okay. Emmy. <laughs> Nicely done. Narcolepsy it is. Narcolepsy, wow. Or cataplexy. Okay. Next, your next question. Any quad on nocturne paintings would be incomplete without a reference to two of Vincent van Gogh's works that are shown here. While the one on the left is Starry Night, painted in 1889, the other is known as Starry Night over the blank. Five letters. Painted the previous year. Fill in the blank with the name of the river featured in it, which flows between France and Switzerland. Sorry, um, night over the seconds. Uh, Seine. Not the Seine. Emmy. Mm, Volga. Not the Volga. Jing? Wrong. Nicely done. This is Starry Night over the Ron. Ron. Oh. Your last direct, Ramesh. <clears throat> Although it was initially conceived as a Saturday afternoon program, this programming block showcasing Japanese anime was converted into a late night program on Adult Swim in 2012. What is this programming block called? A portmanteau of the original network's name and a Japanese word that is hosted by a robot called Tom, which is blank operations module. No seconds. Onja. No, I mean, pass. Aditya? Uh, I don't know, pass. Jing? Pass. Okay, so if the two words are cartoon and tsunami, what is this for? Tsunami, is it? Yes, tsunami. Tsunami. Oh, <laughs> 
Damn it. Okay. Uh, Jing, here's your first of three. In this duothistic syncretic religion, there are two main worship deities, the horned god and the triple moon goddess. The latter represents aspects of a female life, including maiden, mother and crone, uh, which is virginity, fertility and wisdom. Which new religious movement or form of Western mysticism is this? Introduced by a British civil servant in 1954. Seconds. Uh, I guess Jehovah's Witness. Not Jehovah's Witness. Yes. Aditya? I'm going to guess Scientology. Not Scientology. Ramesh? Yes. So this is uh, Wicca. Um, Wicca. Yeah. Okay, Jing, your next question. Given the similar features, it makes sense that lamb shares its etymology with Lampyridae, the scientific name for this nocturnal creature. It is actually a beetle but its name references another insect. It is also apt that the creature does its thing by burning oxygen with a chemical called luciferin in the belly. Which creature is this, which shares its name with a sci-fi series that ran for one season in 2002? Firefly. Firefly it is. Nicely done. Your last direct. Quite possibly the only time that you would come across sleep swimming is in the trailer for a 2016 sequel to a 2003 film. The titular character indulges in it, as well as talking in her sleep. And the trailer seems to suggest that this is the reason for this forgetful character having flashes that guide her towards discovering her origins. The scene was edited out in the final cut. What is the title of the 2016 film? Um, Moana. Moana. Emmy? Boss. Ramesh? Aditya? This is Finding Dory. Nicely done. This oh, is nice. Finding Dory. Mm. Ah, sequel. Yes. Mm. Okay. Aditya, here's your direct now. Istanbul is a splendid sight at night, as can be seen in this picture taken from the ISS. The lights of the city contrast well with the surrounding water bodies, the Black Sea below and the Sea of Marmara on top. What is the strait which connects these two seas and divides Istanbul into a European and Asian half called? The name derives from the ancient Greek word for cow strait. Tigris, is it? Not Tigris. Emmy? Boss. Ramesh? Bosphorus. Nicely done. Bosphorus. Mm -hmm. Your next question. The floodlights at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium are not on pillars, but instead on the circumference of its rounded roof. Thus giving the stadium what nickname that might remind you of the name given to a volcano-prone region girdling the Pacific Ocean. Ten more seconds. Um, Vesuvius, not Vesuvius, class Ramesh. I'll need an answer. Uh, 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 this is the last round, right? Uh, Mona Dubai. Uh, Mona no. mm. Jing? Ring of Fire. Nicely oh. done. This is the Ring of Fire. Okay. Your last direct, Aditya. Mm -hmm. Devi Ra Rathi is a Hindu goddess worshipped mainly in Java and Bali. Kala Rao, a shadowy demon chasing her, is said to have survived a beheading with just his floating head because he had consumed a portion of immortality 
that had reached his throat. He then proceeded, proceeded to consume Devi Rati whole from the night sky, only for her to emerge out of his neck since he did not have a body. This is the origin story of what natural occurrence. In 2023, it's due to happen in May and October. Um, is it an eclipse? From? Solar eclipse? Mm -hmm. Can't give that to you. I mean? Okay. Lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse it is. Oh. I, I thought it's a solar also. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he said prompt, I figured, okay, I got yeah, a 50% you, you, you know here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought you'll accept eclipse, which is why I just said eclipse. Anyway, yes, but uh, I mean, we're getting two up. I mean, here's your first of the three. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist is a 2006 novel about events of a single night by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, which was adapted two years later as a hit rom com movie. The name of the two title characters are a reference to Nick and Nora Charles, the protagonists of which 1934 detective novel by Dashiell Hammett also adapted into a hit movie the same year. The book and film gave their name to the series of films that followed. Ten more seconds. Pass, pass. Ramesh? Uh, an answer. Sorry, uh, this is uh, uh, the Thin Man. Nicely done. The Thin yes. Man is right on. Amy, your next question. Pictured from the ISS is an area around a coastal European city at night. What geographic entity occupies the circular dark area in the picture? The only one of its kind in mainland Europe, at which most famously achieved historical significance in a catastrophic event in the first century AD. Pompeii. Uh, prompt? I need the Mount, Mount Vesuvius. Nicely done. Mount yeah. Vesuvius. Nice. Which is the only active volcano on mainland Europe. Mm. Yeah, the last question of the game, I think. This cinematic technique involves the camera team doing things like underexposing the film, using neutral density filters, choosing bluer white balancing, all in an attempt to artificially recreate the conditions they would otherwise have to wait hours to get. What is this three word term? Also the name of a 1973 Francois Truffaut film. Pass <laughs> Jing? Pass. Aditya? Pass. Ramesh? Night exposure. No. This is a uh, day for night. Oh. So congratulations, Jing, for finishing in first and Ramesh in second. Well done. Thank Thanks. you for reading. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. No worries. There are two bonus questions. If you oh. Oh. This is a tough oh. one. Yeah. The toughest okay. uh, of the of the three six one two. I think someone's gone a little crazy. <laughs> but... Jing, I think you can stop recording as well. Okay. Mm. Stop. I'll yeah. just uh, share.